hi guys welcome to pixel affair it's kobe here so today we have this video we are going to do but before that it's been a while since i actually posted anything here on pixel affair and i've been getting dms and, and on my instagram account asking um, when am i going to upload and people are asking what's up and um, there's nothing really seriously um, going on just that i've been a bit busy and like i previously mentioned in some of my videos i had a bit of challenge with my machine and i'm getting it sorted so hopefully this month i'll be uploading a bit more i can see some people also in the comment section on youtube here asking me to upload more and hopefully this month i'll get everything sorted and i'll start uploading um, a lot of um things now this video we are going to do is actually an old video i did previously right and it's the abstract mesh slicing with cinema 4d and i use a different technique but i've seen i saw this plugin actually i've actually mentioned this plugin in one of my tutorials before though but this plugin and i got this idea that it can actually do this a bit procedurally and it also i'm um, even though the first technique that i showed works i feel this one looks a bit simpler depending on what you want to use it so i feel like let me show how you can use that uh, plugin to do it and it's actually free i'll leave the link in the descri uh, description and you can check it out right so let's actually go into cinema 4d and see how we will do that i'll actually create a new scene here so i have this um scene here which i have this um, object and it's basically three spheres which i've placed under a volume builder with a volume measure and i've added a, um, a displacer deformer on it with a noise shader right and it's animated so you can see so that's basically it you can actually watch the first video and you will get the whole like process the whole thing but this is just to show you another way of doing it so i don't want to go back to the whole process so now that um we have this mesh all we have to do is to create our vol um let's go into our more graph voronoi fracture and make the knowledge out of the voronoi fracture i can see it fracturing it um with random points so let's select the Voronoi fracture and then go into the source and let's delete the point generator right you are going to use matrix so i'll come into my mo graph again and i'll create a matrix object and i'll make the count zero one one anyway one on all sides but on the x on the y i mean we can make it something like maybe 100 it doesn't even matter like 100 something like that right and now we are going to use this to sort of um create the fracture in the Voronoi um, fracture. So I'll select the Voronoi fracture, come to the source um, tab, and let's drag and drop it, drop in the matrix. And you can see it's giving us this slice. So this is what, the, in the first one, this is what we did, right? And we used, I mean, plane effector to actually, we actually use the offset here. Where is it? Offset fragment here. Sort of make it this slice. Use the plane effector to, you know, scale it back and stuff like that but we are not going to worry ourselves with all of this so let's set back the offset fragment to zero and what we are going to use is a free plugin called um where is it edge to spline so i'll create edge to spline and write all the where the cuts are we want splines there so basically i'll select the Voronoi fracture we come into the selection tab here you can see you have selection tab selected and down here you can see edge vertexes so we can select it or oh, not actually where is it you can see surface brick edge let's click on it surface brick edge and that's what we are going to use so immediately we create su surface brick edge you can see it's giving us this um tag here right and that's all the um edges that we have we are having the cuts it it's creating some sort of like line or edge there basically so we can select the edge to spline right and you can drag and drop in the Voronoi fracture as the object you want to create the edge to spline with. You can see it's creating splines all around the Voronoi fracture. But we don't want the whole thing. We just want the edges. You can see there's some lines at the edges. You just want just the edges. So in the edge selection, we will drag and drop this particular edge selection here. And I can see it's only at the edges that it's creating those particular um, splines. So let's go ahead and hide the matrix. Right? and now if you hit play you can see everything is still working so basically you can do it. let's hide actually the Voronoi fracture and this is procedural as well so we have our splines so how do we get it to um to geometry like you know extrude it so it's as simple as creating an extrude object but we will have an issue if we put it straight into the extrude object so let me do that and let's see if i put it straight into the extrude object 
um or extrude but it looks weird let's reduce the offset to like say one right and you can see it looks weird not the way we want it so what i'll do is that i'll bring take the edge to spline out of the um extrude and i'll put it in another more graph object fracture so i'll put it back into the fracture object right and i'll select the fracture object and i'll change the move straight to explode segments so what's basically doing is that it's exploding the segment of every edge like all of them into separate segments basically right and now let's put it back into the extrude and now this time everything should work fine so you can see i mean it's not working. let's actually sort of refresh yeah so you can see now it's working but it's not affecting the whole splines everything it's just the first one so you just select the extrude come down to the object tab and in there you can see you have hierarchical we can just check hierarchical and now everything sort of works like the one we did so i think this one was another technique like something that came to mind when i actually saw this so i decided to do a quick video to see like you can actually do the same technique using this particular edge to spline um the a plugin and it's free i'll leave the extension below right and you can check it out it's a youtube tutorial about like i think noseman and he has the plugin in there you can check it out it's very useful and it's not just for this particular effect you can use it for several other stuff and or any other edge to spline tool that you have you can actually use it to do this particular effect as well so this is what i really wanted to talk about but the edge to spline tool is very interesting so for instance if i come in here and i create let's say a sphere right and coming to the extensions you can actually create the edge to spline and like you can make it a child of the um of the the object a child of the edge to spline you can see it works we have the spline showing or if you don't want it that way you can simply select the edge to spline and drag the object in here so that it can be independent right so that's basically what the edge to spline does it does a lot of things and i think you can play around with it to create a lot of interesting effects so this is basically what i wanted to talk about and i'm actually working on getting back to start uploading um frequently um maybe somewhere from this month going so stay tuned and i'll give you guys like interesting content out i'm trying to sell my machine so that i can play around experiment and you know play around with a lot of stuff so that i can do a lot of tutorials so thank you guys for your patience and thank you for your support and all the people who have been checking up i really appreciate it like i'll bounce back soon and it will be fun thank you and i'll see you in the next one